Hello everyone, welcome to lecture one of the Mini Delta PLC programming course. So today in this course we're going to start discussing Delta PLC simulation and how you can achieve this. And this is mainly just for people who don't have a hardware PLC to play around with um, to try out some Delta PLC programming techniques. So we're just going to quickly just go through what you can be learning in this first lecture. So we're going to be installing ComGR and ISP Soft, which is the two main softwares which allows us to write our code and also for us to create a simulator which we can test our code on. Then we're going to be setting up the Delta PLC programming simulator. I'm going to write a very basic first program and we're just going to play around with inputs just to show you how we can like test our program in online mode in the software. So first of all you just want to go to the Delta website in the download center and then you would want to select industrial automation, select product subcategory and select PLC programmable logic controllers. You'd want to select software and hit submit. The other two pieces of software you're going to be downloading is ComGR version 1.09, just the zip file here, and ISPSoft version 3.05. So go ahead and like download that and install it on your Windows machine. And then I'm going to now move on to setting up the actual simulator. First of all, you're going to start with ComGR. So I've got a few connections that are already set up, but what you're going to do is click on Add. And we're going to call this Simulator. And we're going to make the type DVP Simulator. Just take note of the device setting, so it's EH2 SV or old series. I'm just going to say OK, and we're going to select our simulator and click Start. Next, we're going to open up ISPSoft. So this is what you will get in the beginning when you haven't started a project. So all you'll do is just go to File New and create a new project. Just call it test project and basically we need to match this to our simulator this PLC type so if we go back to ComGR just see what we made it it's EH2 SV series so we just need to match that to EH2 so okay so now we given a new project and the first thing we want to do is just go here to programs and click on new so I've got a few different types of languages we can use. We can use ladder diagram, which most people are familiar with and understand, instruction list and sequential uh, function charts. For this tutorial, we're just going to do the ladder diagram. First thing we want to do before we start writing any ladder code is to make sure that our communication settings is correct and that we've got it allocated to our simulator. Okay. Now I can actually start typing out our program. First, we'll do is just click on the first rung, hit spacebar, type LDM0. So this will be our input. Just click again, spacebar, out, M1. All we need to do to compile our program and go into online mode where we can try and simulate this, just to click on online mode. And so as been compiled yet, do you want to compile? Yes, we do. We want to, uh, to download the current open program to call PLC. So this will be our virtual simulator PLC. Yes. And now uh, just one thing to note here is that you need to make sure that the simulator is in run mode. Here it says stop. So in order to put it into run mode, just click this run button over here and say yes. 
Okay, so just make sure it's in run. And once that has happened, you can just click on your input and set it to on. And you will see that M1 will turn on. So guys, that's, that's all for this tutorial, just to show you how you can simulate a hardware PLC on your computer so that you can start writing code and testing your code and so on. So just like a few final words before we end off. And just on how you can support us. If, if you want to start seeing more of this course, uh, subscribe to our channel and make sure that you tick the notification bell to get notifications of when new course material comes out. If you are looking for someone that can already do PLC programming and automation engineers and you've got a industrial automation project which you need assistance with you can contact us through our website and we'll be able to help you further and then we are planning on building a much more comprehensive PLC programming course you can help us by signing up for that um, so that once it is released we can let you know and you can like join the course and learn a bit more about PLC programming. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.